Hey folks, welcome back. As you can see, we still don't have any little lambs yet. If we look at the date, we're on the 8th, which is the last day of early autumn. So it shouldn't be too much longer, I think. I don't know exactly how long it takes, but it's been long enough, I would think. Let's uh, milk the cow. I have, the cows are even longer, no idea when, when they'll be, but the lamb should be soon. So this is the ninth bucket of milk to go into this barrel here. Unseal it, throw it in. So now we got room for just one more bucket, which we want to be vinegar. Now, if we come over here, this is where I'm preserving these yellow bell peppers. Um, 7,000 millibuckets is uh, just enough for 56 yellow bell peppers. I, I want one bucket of vinegar to make the cheese, so it works out to be, when you're preserving it, it's eight vegetables or eight food items per thousand. So I'm going to have to remove eight of these yellow bell peppers to free up a thousand millibuckets of, uh, of vinegar. So grab a bucket, put these guys back in, and finish. continue to preserve them. I come over here, throw the vinegar in, and now we have vinegar milk. Close it up, and we'll get curdled milk at some point in the not too distant future. And as you can see, these have only z these have zero days left on them. So I'm going to throw them into a uh, vessel here, and hopefully they'll last at least the rest of the day. So the way it works, if you look over here, I have this garlic over here preserved. And as I showed in the last episode, it's got like 788 days it'll last in this preserved state. Um, that scales with the amount of time that was left on the food at the time it was pickled. So when I put these yellow bell peppers in, they were just about gone. So that's why they only, they're only going to last about six more days here in the pickled state. So I'll be eating my way through them over the next few days, but um, I probably won't get through them all before they finally go bad. But that'll free up the vinegar to pickle something a little bit fresher that'll last longer. Okay. Um, so, what, what else I want to show? Oh, yeah, over here. Um, we can see the weather's been getting colder, and so, as predicted, my, uh, my sugar cane is not surviving. Oh, I do have some uh, rye here that I can harvest, though. Uh, you'll see even more of it over here, probably has gone bad yeah so we'll try and get it in the ground nice and early next season or next year and see if we can actually grow this stuff over the course of <laughs> an entire uh, spring summer and early fall part of early fall i guess um, and if not, then if we want to have sugar, we're going to have to find ourselves a secondary location further south, I guess, where it's warmer and there's a longer growing season. Okay, well, I'm going to wait around for the, uh, for the lambs. I was going to say lambs be hatched, which, you know, shows my understanding of biology. Um, I want to wait around so then I can immediately rebreed the uh, sheep before they get too old. Um, so that just means me kind of run around here doing minor day-to-day -day tasks. Um, so I won't uh, have you sit through any of that. I'll bring you back in tomorrow morning when we uh, come back out to, I guess, I guess I will start another milk barrel and hopefully our cheese will be ready or at least further along. So I'll bring you back when, uh, when it's the new day. Well, a new day has dawned, and if we look at the calendar, we're into the first day of autumn, basically mid-autumn. Let's go over here first and check on our cheese. Okay, so our we now have curdled milk, and we leave it in there, and it will become cheese at some point. Yahoo. Uh, let's go over here and get the bucket out. And let's go check on... Quickly have a look at my apple trees. I'm not expecting to get any apples out of them, but, you know, it never hurts. And still no little lambs. That's a bummer. 
Uh, or too soon to milk them. Okay. Three hours later. There we go. There's our bucket of milk. Come racing back over here and we can start a new bucket. Yeah, I suppose this one's turned to cheese yet, has it? Nope, not yet. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's go to the map. Is there's these areas over here that uh, I'd previously explored. And the uh, last time I explored them was in winter time, so they were still covered in snow. So what I've been doing while I've been, you know, waiting for the uh, lambs to be born is I've just been running around here to make some of the snow go away. And also to see if there's any stuff that I missed. You know, any fruit trees and things like that. Um, oh, actually, speaking of fruit trees, doo -doo -doo, let's uh, switch over to those. There we go. Um, this is a red apple. Cherry, cherry, lemon. There's a red apple tree here. Okay, yeah, so actually I'll go by there since it's the first day of mid-autumn. It's possible that there are... Uh, apples on the red, this red apple tree. So we'll head over there and have a look at him. Okay, I'll meet you over there. We're almost there. Oh, aha, yes. Oh, it's f just full of apples. Huh? Glad I checked. All right, let's go grab these. And I guess while we're at it, we should uh, also get rid of the uh, the trees that are crowding it. Since they're going to get in the way of its expansion. Okay, well, you've seen me gather fruit from trees before, so other than the, the exciting uh, the excitement of just seeing that there is fruit available, it's uh, not much more to see than that. So when I that what that does mean though is I can make some more vinegar when I get back and preserve a bit more food. So I'll probably be coming by every day or two to. Uh, gather more fruit off this tree cool all right i'm gonna head back and make some vinegar and then probably uh probably won't bring you back in again till tomorrow when we check once again to see if we have some lambs yet still eagerly awaiting the new additions to our little family okay i'll bring you back then well it's now the 2nd of October, second day of mid-autumn, and there's still no little lambs, but our curdled milk is now turned into cheese. The last 72 days, I don't think cheese can be pickled, <laughs> but what we can do is uh, stuff it. The usual thing is we can stuff it into a vessel and you can see inside the vessel lasts us 144 days. So that's great because that now means that we have a source of milk to last us through the winter. Or a source of dairy rather. If we look at our health levels. This is this one down here. So far we have absolutely nothing. I could have been drinking the milk. But uh, the cheese is the better deal. Because it lasts so much longer. Well actually milk lasts a long time. But you get a lot more out of it. More to the point. So out of those nine buckets of cheese uh, nine buckets of milk we got 32 cheese which will do 32 of our food bars uh whereas if i'd drinking if i drunk it each pail would have just given me one bar so i would have only gotten nine bars if i'd been drinking milk and this way i get 32 so it's a big win in those terms but still no little little lambs so i guess i should uh Close this up. Uh, 
And we have another empty barrel. And head to bed for a bit. And we'll rush out and see. Do we have lambs yet? Mares eat oats and does eat oats, but the lambs eat ivy. No. Okay. Well, I will bring you back in uh, when we do. See you then. Well, we finally have some new members of the family here on the farm. Two little sheep. I didn't realize that you got multiple. That's nice. I hope the same is true of the cows. So that means there's a chance I can actually, you know, grow my flock before they aid, they get old old too quickly. Um, it did take quite a while, though. Uh, if we have a look here, it's the first day of late autumn, so it took like I I don't even remember when I uh, when I was last here when I was last on camera. I think it was back around the second of. Uh, of uh, mid mid autumn. Anyway, so let's uh, feed the little guys to get them started, and then feed her. There we go. Well, they got the loving on, so you don't get fed. That's the way it works. Okay, so we'll have to keep feeding the little guys to get them uh, acclimated to us. And at some point in time, the cows are going to come through with with some calves. Let's come over here and just have a look at what I've been doing with my spare time. Or spare time while I was waiting around. Yeah, you can see that all these are dying off because it's getting too cold. But I can still get the seeds back from them, so that's nice. That didn't used to be the case. Well, actually, yeah, sorry. That's not true, it did. It's just they wouldn't show little dead things they would uh, they would just show little bags of seeds like laid flat on the ground like I was but I think they would get destroyed if the snow came along uh, maybe that's true of these things as well we'll see I should actually okay the next one that goes bad I'll leave it in the ground and then we'll see if the uh, snow destroys it so uh, meanwhile over here and slowly working my way through things so We've got a bunch of pickled, more pickled garlic, and this stuff is going to last a little longer, 711 days. I got through about a third of that short-term pickled garlic I had before, before it went bad. And this stuff, sometimes. so this stuff is going to last us a nice long time. So that's all the garlic. And then for some variety, we got uh, some onions. And I went out and found another, uh, just when I was wandering around, found another uh, black panther and killed it. And so we got even a little bit of meat pickled. So you can only pickle it when it's raw. You can't pickle it after it's cooked, unfortunately. And uh, collecting more milk. Soon I'll be able to make more uh, uh, more cheese. What else we got going on here? We got some vinegar here waiting. Actually, these might be ready now. These are now brined. Okay. Vinegar waiting to pickle or pickle these. Okay, and we got some vinegar here waiting to, well, it'll receive these carrots once they've been uh, pickled. And uh, we got some more vodka here. It finally finished up. So I can convert that into, well, yeah. Uh, so there's 5,000 vodka there. It would take me 20 pieces of fruit to convert it into more vinegar. But all I've got is, I've got 20, I've got these 20 red apples here. And they'll last about 24 days in the vessel inside the chest. Um, but if I, if I convert all of my fruit into vinegar, or use it to make vinegar, then I'm not going to have any fruit to eat as fruit. You know, so if I look at my uh, level, whoops, wrong one, levels here, uh, I'm not going to have anything to fill out my fruit bar with. On the flip side, though, it only lasts about um, 28 days. Um, so I'm not sure yet uh, whether I want to turn that into uh, turn that into vinegar or just eat it over the course of the next month. So I'll have to think about that. Um, actually, why don't we bop over to the uh, 
red apple tree and see if it's still giving us apples now we're in late fall. I'll meet you over there. Well, as you can see, we are still getting some, uh, we're still getting some fruit. There's still fruit coming in on this tree, even though it's late fall. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, that that's sort of what I remember it was, was that it's, uh, uh, mid and late fall that the, uh, trees bear fruit or that the apple trees anyways bear fruit. Okay. So given that I'm going to get a bunch more fruit over the course of this month off of this tree. So I think I'll go ahead and take those, uh, 20 apples that I have back home and, uh, and use them to make vinegar because I'll have more apples off this that I can use just as, you know, as eaten apples. Uh, well, so I'll grab a few more off this tree as they come in and then meet you back home. See you then. Okay, well, it's the next day and uh, I'm only feeding... Oh, it's too early. Okay. Uh, but I'm only going to be feeding the little guys uh, until they're familiar with me because I can't increase the familiarity of the uh, of the elders anymore, the older sheep anymore. So it'll just be the little guys, but they're not ready for me yet. So I'll go and load this bucket of milk that I got from the cow. I have no idea when the cows are going to come in or the, uh, like when the, when they're going to, when the cow is going to have its calf. Get close on that. And, uh, Oh, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, so I threw uh, the 20 apples that I had into the uh, the vodka I had, the 5,000 ml buckets of vodka I have, so now I have lots of vinegar. And actually, I should transfer. There we go. A barrel. So I have lots of vinegar there. Um, oh, this guy has now been pickled. These carrots have now been pickled, so I can get them out. And in order to preserve them, I am going to need. There's 48. Uh, 8 per. That's. There's 8 per 1,000 of vinegar. And divide that by 8. That's 6. So. I'm going to need six buckets of vinegar. I guess I should have shouldn't have done the transfer then I would have already had four in there. All right, so we can put our carrots in and now they'll be preserved. So I got garlic more garlic, onions, a little bit of meat, and I'll have some carrots. So I may actually have enough. Now, 40, 72, 104, 109, uh, 157. So there's 157 food here preserved. Plus the cheese is going to last me. The 32 cheese are going to last me. Yeah, all through the winter. And uh, I've still got some grain that I can make into bread. And the bread will last quite a while. It'll last me through winter. So I think I probably now have enough food to get me all the way through winter. And that'll be everything except fruit. I'll have a little bit of fruit through the rest of this autumn that I'm, I'll be getting from that apple tree. Actually, I wonder if meals and sandwiches can be pickled and preserved. If so, then that would be a way of, you know, I can put fruit and cheese, for that matter, uh, into the meals and hopefully into the sandwiches. And if, if they can be pickled, then that would be a way of stretching them out longer. So let's give that a shot. Okay, we're going to need a bowl for making salad. Uh, we need the knife in our off hand. And we need some ingredients. Uh, let's get the apples out. So 
since that's what we're interested in seeing is whether we can uh, use these to <clears throat> to uh, preserve the apples for longer um somewhere here oh there's the cheese okay be nice if we could use it to stretch out the cheese well yeah we're gonna need this stuff for sandwiches all right what else we got up here we got some beets Uh, grab some beets. Potatoes? No, I got better things to do with potatoes. Uh, bell peppers and onions? Sure. Always yummy. Oh, those bell peppers are just about had it anyway. Okay, and anything else? Carrots? Sure. Let's grab some carrots. And actually, garlic would be good, except I don't think I have very much garlic left. Yeah, I don't. It's all pickled. Pickled garlic. My lifeblood for the next three months. Okay, so with the knife in my offhand, I go to the bowl and I right-click. And now let's make something up. Okay, let's just throw in there. Throw on a bell, red bell pepper, and that gives us a salad here. Hold for shift for nutrition info. 3% saturation and 0.8 vegetables. Okay, so we don't get the full value of the veggie. Like if we just ate it, it would be worth one. See there. And have saturation of 5%. And we so we get less saturation and we get less of the vegetables. So it's kind of a loss there. Except notice it says it will decay in four days, whereas the bell pepper on its own will decay in one. So we can actually extend it. But what if we put, is it, like, is it scaled? So this has eight days to go. Oh, it still only gives me four days. So it looks like it doesn't matter uh, what the expiry date of the foods are you put in here the salads are always good for four days okay interesting uh let's put some cheese in disgusting salad oh it gives me 2.3 on the dairy though oh but by itself cheese gives me three on the dairy okay so it's still a loss saturation is 10 percent. saturation is seven percent so it looks like the only advantage we get and it's a good advantage is we can, ex if something's about to decay, we can extend it out for another couple of days by putting this out. Okay, so let's not make it disgusting salt. Let's just take our bell pepper, uh, an onion. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to try an apple in there. That's a healthy salt. Doesn't make it disgusting at all. And we get fruits and vegetables. Saturation 7%. Does the saturation go up as we add stuff? Let's find out. Saturation 15%. Oh, okay. Uh, so if you throw more stuff in here, you can actually benefit on the saturation. So at three items, saturation is only 7%. Well, 7% is still better than any of the items that are in there. But yeah, so we want to throw as many things in here as possible. Let's see what we can get that saturation up to. 16%. So that's not bad, eh? Okay, so we'll take our salad. Oh, and the other thing is that gives us some fruit and some vegetables. So what are we missing? There's no dairy, because that makes it disgusting. <clears throat> and there's no grain. I wonder if I can just put grain in. Is it going to allow that? Nope. What about flour? Nope. Okay. So we can't put any grain in. Um, and I don't have any protein around at the moment. But it probably would. I mean, well, salad? It might. I don't know if it'll allow uh, meat or not, protein or not. But anyway, so that gives us a healthy salad. All right, let's go have a look out here. Can we pickle a salad? Or first brine it? No. It doesn't say that it's brining. So I don't think this will work either because it needs to be brined before it can be pickled. But still, let's give it a try. No. Okay, so we can get increased saturation if we throw enough items into the salad. Um, and we can also get a few days out of foods that are about to go bad. Uh, let's try the 
bread. Um, for the bread. Where's my bucket? Take this cornmeal flour. That'll give me a couple of dough. Let's grab this uh, fire starter here. Grab a log. We need two uh, two loaves of bread. I only have the one here, so. Um, and then where's my fire starter? There we go. Oh, while well, we're at it, might as well eat this. So what am I at? I'm at like 1.7 bars right now. So even though that had like five items in it that individually would have given me like five bars, that only brought me up to like 2.8, 2.9. So I'm not really sure. I don't know how... Oh, they burnt up? Oh, no. I waited too long. Whoops. All right. Okay. Um, grinding stuff is boring, so I will bring you back in when I've... Uh, actually, I need one. Bring you back in when I'm <clears throat> ready to do this again. Okay. This time, we're going to grab them off <laughs> there. Grab the bread off there before it burns them goes up in flames. Okay, so we have our two bread. We'll make a sandwich in the crafting grid like this. Oh, I need the knife. You can't access your offhand item while you're in the crafting grid. You have to get it out first. Okay, that's the barley bread I just made. And where's the knife? Okay, let's put a carrot in there. Okay, the carrot is eight days to go. The bread has 27, and it looks like the sandwich is just the same as the uh, salad. Is that we get four days out of it? Okay, that's that's fine. So again, we could use that to extend stuff and go. Oh, the other nice thing is we get two of them. So if I put an apple in here, yeah, 0.8. So each sandwich gives me 0.8 fruit, but I get two of them. So I'm actually getting 1.6. So I'm getting 60% improvement on that fruit. Oh, so the same will happen with the cheese, right? Yeah, I would get 2.4 dairy instead of the three that it normally gives, but I get two of them. So yeah, I don't know if that was the intent of the developers or not, but unlike the salad, you can actually uh, get more, like kind of not quite double, but at least 60% more out of, your, uh, out of your items that you're putting in here. So cool. All right, let's grab a couple sandwiches. And after the experience with the salad, I'm pretty sure this won't work either, but let's try it. No. Nah. So we can't preserve, well, at least we can't pickle sandwiches either. But we can stretch them out by putting them in a vessel, like anything else, right? Yeah, so it lasts nine days instead of four inside the vessel. So, so we can get, we can gain some time on it. But the nice thing, so the sandwiches seem to be the way to go. Uh, the other thing we need to try is soup. I haven't, I've never tried soup before either. But for that, I'm going to have to make up a ceramic pot, and we're pretty much at the end of our day now. So, oh, last thing I need to do. We're into a new day, right? I meant we're pretty much at the end of the of the. Uh, this episode, not the end of the day. But I forgot to feed the little lambs. So let's do that, and then we'll call it an episode. Hi, guy. And you. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I hope to see you back for the next one. Bye.